Let's take a closer look at the text editor page. Choose text editor from the available page type options and you'll be presented with a page that looks like this. You can add a title here and get started typing by the type here prompt. On the right hand side, this properties bar has automatically expanded. We'll come back to this later, but to close it, you use this button here. Once closed, you can focus on the content of your page. You can add different content into your pages by adding sections. If you hover at the bottom of your text section and click when this plus button and line appears, this opens the section menu. The top half of this menu gives you options to add another text section as well as other types of media into your page. Let's add another text section. You can copy paste images directly into text sections. Once pasted, you can carry on typing underneath. Alternatively, you can use the section menu to add your images. This will prompt you to upload them from your computer or to insert them from URL. To delete a section at any time, hover over it. These icons will appear on the left and choose the cross button to delete. To add videos into your pages, we have to use the iframe embed option. To add videos from somewhere like YouTube, you can get this iframe code through share and then choosing embed and copying that code. You can grab these links to have other content display on the page, such as calendars, slide decks, spreadsheets, basically anything that has an iframe embed code available. You can also add audio files into your page. Just copy paste the link to your audio files and check the sharing settings to ensure it plays. Next to each section in the left margin, there is also a six dot symbol. To reorganize or reorder your sections on the page, Click and drag the section to move it relative to other sections. As mentioned earlier, next to this six dot button, there's also a cross for deleting a section. In the section menu, underneath this general section, there are some further options available. You can also add pages as a section of your current page. There are five different options corresponding to the five different page types available. Empty page or typeless page, text editor, file, table, and website. And these correspond to the different page types when you create a new page. Selecting any of these options adds that chosen page to the current page like this. Here we've chosen add typeless page and this opens up in the modal for us to add a title for that page. You can close the modal using the cross button at the top. This will take us back to that first page. The typeless page appears on our original page like this. If I add a text editor, this again opens up in the modal for me to add any content I like to this page. Similarly to before, the link to that page appears like this. To open any of these pages, simply click on them like this and it will take you to that page. To get back to the first page, you can access this through the sidebar here or using the breadcrumb links across the top. Adding files or web pages behave very much in the same way. But let's take a look at tables. If you add a table, it will again open up in the modal for you to set up the table and add information into it. Close the page like before, and this will also appear as a section of your page like this. When you hover over a table, you will see that there are some options on the right side. This view table as embed option will allow you to preview your table in this current page. Just like the sections we discussed earlier, each of these page sections can also be rearranged on your current page. Any pages that you add as sections to your current page will also display in the sidebar. If you expand this drop-down, 
you can see that all the pages that have been added also list here, so you can navigate to them through your sidebar. There's one other option in the Add section menu, and that is Link a Page. And this allows you to add a link to any other page that already exists in your workspace. Once chosen, you can scroll through a list of all the pages in your workspace, or you can start typing the name of the page. Once you've found the page you want to link to, click it and a link will be created. Linked pages are labelled with this chain symbol. You can use these link page sections to keep your workspace connected.